So it's also inductively charged, so um, it's charged in the same way that you, char you charge a smartwatch or a phone. Um, and so you can use it all day, uh, charge it at night, and have full functionality. So you would really, um, you know, it, would be, it would be completely seamless, uh, and uh, yeah, no wires. Uh, in terms of getting a link, so that, um, we, you need to have the device, uh, a great device, and you also need to have a great robot that uh, puts in the, uh, the electrodes and uh, does the surgery. So you want the surgery to be as, as automated uh, and, and as possible, and the only way you can achieve the level of precision that's needed is with an advanced robot. Um, so we're really looking for uh, great people who can help develop both the device uh, and the robot. Um, and we feel confident about getting the, uh, the link procedure, the, the installation of a link, done in under an hour. Um, so you can basically go in in the morning and leave the hospital in the afternoon. And it can be done without general anesthesia. So in terms of getting a link, like I said, it's essentially uh, you open a piece of skull, um, you remove uh, about a coin-sized piece of skull, uh, and then the robot inserts the electrodes. Uh, we'll talk more about that later. Uh, then the device replaces the portion of skull that was removed, and we, we Basically, close that up with actually a super glue, which is how a lot of wounds are closed, and uh, and then you can just walk around right after right afterwards. It's pretty cool. So this is our surgical robot. And we actually ultimately want this robot to do uh, essentially the entire surgery. Uh, so in, in everything from, from in, incision, uh, removing the, the skull, inserting the electrodes, placing the device, um, and then um, closing things up and having you ready to, to leave. So we want to have a fully automated system. And we've, to be clear, this, this robot d does actually work. <laughs> we've used it for uh, all of the uh, implantations. Um, so this, this shows you um, at a sort of close-up view, uh, which I think is actually not too gruesome. Uh, of the electrodes being inserted in the brain. And if you look closely, you'll see that um, that's a, it's a little counterintuitive that uh, if the electrodes are inserted very carefully, that there is no bleeding. Um, and so the, uh, if you have very tiny electrodes and if they're inserted very carefully, so that the robot actually images the brain and makes sure to avoid any veins or arteries so that the electrodes can be inserted um, with no noticeable damage. So you will have no noticeable uh, neural damage uh, in inserting the link. Yeah, it, like you sort of think like if you stab something with a wire, surely it will bleed. But actually, at a, at a really small scale, it does not. So does it actually work? And uh, what I'm excited to show you, um, I'll quote like the, the, the three little pigs demo. Um, and uh, if our... Uh, and we'll have this, we're bring, bringing out the, the pigs. And what we're going to show you is a, well, I'll walk right over and show you. So what we have in pen number one is Joyce. Uh, and she does not have an implant. <laughs> Obviously, healthy and happy. Um, <laughs> We're trying to get Gertrude out. You know, this is how you know it's a live demo. She's a little. She's like eh, she's trying to eat something in the corner of her pen. Um, come on, Gertrude. Here we go. <laughs> Snacks are this way. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> All right. We'll we'll 
Wait, we'll give Gertrude a second, and we'll move on to Dorothy. <laughs> Sometimes the pigs are a little shy. So here's Dorothy, um, and in the case of Dorothy, um, Dorothy used to have an implant, and then we removed the implant. So this is uh, an, a very important thing to uh, demonstrate, is reversibility. So if you, if you have a neural link, and then you decide you don't want it, or you want to get an upgrade, and the neural link is removed, um, is it removed in such a way that you are still healthy and happy afterwards? And what Dor Dorothy illustrates is that you can put in the neural link, remove it, and be healthy, happy, and indistinguishable from a normal pig. Oh, thanks, Dorothy. <laughs> Man, Gertrude, are you serious? <laughs> okay. Um, well, should, should we bring them all out or something? Does, would, would that be better? How about everyone, everyone just comes into this pen? And we'll just have a few, it'll be a little crowded, but whatever. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, is, is Gertrude still back in the thing? Yeah. Okay, we need to bring Gertrude out. Yeah. <laughs> oh, the beauty of live demos. This is real live demo. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Maybe we can zoom in to do Gertrude or something. <laughs> She's clearly very interested in something at the back of a pen. Can you see her? Or? Not quite. All right. All right, this might take a sec. Um, well, this, this worked earlier. Um, <laughs> All right, well. What, what if, we, if we lift the curtain and then zoom in? All right, here we go, great, okay, great. <laughs> okay, this is a, High energy pig. Um, all right, Gertrude, thanks for coming out. Um, so, what you're, the, the beeps you're hearing are real time signals from the neural link in Gertrude's head. So, this neural link connects to neurons that are uh, in her snout. So, whenever she snuffles around and touches something with her snout, the, that sends out uh, neural spikes, which are detected here. Um, and so, on the screen, um, you can see uh, each, each of the, the spikes from the 1,024 electrodes. And, and then if, you, if she, yeah, she snuffles around, touches this knot in the ground, or you kind of feed her some food, pigs love food, um, then uh, you, you can see the neurons um, will fire much more than when you're not touching this knot. And uh, that's what's making the, the beeping sound. All right, cool. So as you can see, uh, we have a uh, healthy and happy pig, um, initially shy, but obviously high energy and, and uh, you know, kind of loving life. And uh, she's had the implant for two months. So this is a healthy and happy pig with an implant that is two, month old, two months old and working well. Yeah. All right, cool. <laughs> Um, and then um, we actually have, I hope sure this works, is, so we said, well, what if we do two Neuralink implants? Um, and we've been able to uh, do uh, dual Neuralink implants uh, in, th um, actually, I think three pigs at this point, And we have a couple of them here. Um, and we've been able to show that you can actually have multiple Neuralinks implanted. Um, and again, healthy and happy and indistinguishable from a normal pig. So, um, so it's possible to have multiple links in your, in your head and have them all be sending out signals and you're working well. Oh, yeah.